Greetings, MacWarriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TTB. Good to see you all today. Well, it's time for another video for German mech engineering in MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries. And today we're going to be playing the Catapult Charlie 1, one of the most iconic mechs, I think, in the Battletech universe. Now, the Catapult, in terms of lore, well, the description in the manual reads, when Hollis Incorporated wanted to test the waters of the battle mech industry, they did so with a completely new design in the state-of-the-art factory. They shipped out record numbers of catapults for three-year contracts they had with the Terran hegemony, but ceased production in 2563 when the contract was not renewed. Primarily a fire support platform, the catapult is often used in second line and specialist mountaineering regiments. All right. That explains the loadouts. Let's have a look at this particular loadout that we'll be playing today, guys. We have four small lasers for point defense and two LRM-15 stream launchers. Now, of course, the devil is always in the details. So let's have a quick look here at the innards of this mech. Right arm and left arm LRM-15 stream, but you can just use at normal LRM-15s as well. We've got a total of five double heat sinks in the mech. You could probably do this with single heat sinks as well, but the mech will be a little bit hotter. And we have four small lasers, one on each side torso and two in the CT. These are just for point defense when something underruns your LRM range. Uh, you want to try and stay uh, above that 180 meter range when possible. In terms of ammo, we are bringing three and a half tons. That should be plenty for most fights, but of course you could always convert a double heat sink or a jump jet to some ammo. Now, Here's the thing guys, I have chosen to keep one jump jet and the reason for that is that sometimes targets will be behind cover or they will be behind the ridge and with the jump jet I'll try and see whether I can do some jump shots with the missiles here. Now, let's go ahead and save our loadout. Whoops, LRM-15, not LRM-156, that would be a little bit overkill. Now, in terms of my lands, I have chosen to keep the same mechs from last video, so Marauder, Cataphract and Orion VA launching right now. Once again, we are going to test the waters against a little bit of a war zone because it gives we a nice varied right amount of targets. Commander. That's a quite Help a few missile tubes for that launcher, bombs, actually, but uh, hey, we'll see what happens here. So, actually, we let's set the weapon groups here. And I'm going to set weapon group 3 as chain fire. There we go. And we're getting already engaged upon. That's alright though. It's J. Edgar coming in. Here come the streams and he's gone. I actually wonder guys, what is your preference? Do you like stream launches more or do you guys prefer the normal launchers? Because there's benefits to both of them. The normal launchers shoot the missiles faster, the stream launchers seem to be a little bit more accurate. Okay, that's Javelin coming in. Now it's time for our weapons to go to town here. Oh yes, this is going to hurt you way more than it's gonna hurt me. Beautiful fire on the Javelin. Yes! That is the learning experience, especially learning against a Locust. And we can jump up here, just shoot our missiles from up top, try and keep a lock here. Uh, he's actually uh, not posing that much of a problem. And now he's in range for the small lasers. Once again, LRMs, and he's down. Last guy coming in here is a Cicada, trying to get a little bit of a distance in between me and him. Keep the streams going, put the small lasers in. He's now been oh, minimum range, so we'll just keep shooting lasers until he gets to range. We use the jump jets once again. Okay, he doesn't want to apparently leave my dead zone, which is interesting. That might be a conscious AI choice, but now he's done that, and now we can actually bring some more love toward him. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, almost got him. One more. Come on, guys. It's always weird to me when I have my allies stand around an enemy and not shooting said enemy. That was weird. Like these two guys were just standing there and watching us uh, dance around. Hello. That's one way to announce yourself. Shooting me in the back, I guess. The jet guy should be dead here in the next solo. I'm gonna keep walking backwards. Use the jump jets now. Go for the assassin. Yep, looking good. Again, getting shot in the back here, this time by... by ooh, hello. That is an Igor. Which should be going down now. Yep, and now we switch over to the VTOL. One salvo should be enough for this guy. And we switch over to the Cicada, once again. We're trying to get our distance going, leaving our guys to do the fighting, while we do the killing. What I'm seeing here, guys, what is very interesting to me is that the Orion actually has taken so much damage already. He seems to have a really hard time with um, 
brawling this round for some reason. Oh, he just got shot in the back. Let's see what happened to him. Uh, nope, he's just been hit all around. Okay. See, I used the jump jets to get up here, get line of sight on the target. And now we employ the jump jets to not get damaged on the legs. Now we turn around and we see there's another mech coming in. This is an Orion Kilo. Okay, and he is now in range. Here come the missiles. Actually, I can go for the Cicada. Because he's gonna be here faster. And by walking backwards, I ensure that he's not gonna chase me down as quickly as he could. <laughs> it's part of a tank or something falling down and uh, happily burning. Ah, that's my luck. I was so happy about the tank being destroyed, I lost my luck, but that's okay. We just keep walking. It's a very different playstyle than from what you normally see me play, but uh, if you've seen the campaign so far, you know that the Stalker plays similarly, only that it seems to have a little bit more firepower, but that's okay because it's got quad uh, LRMs instead of just the double LRMs. Let's get some more damage here on the Orion, keep on going for him, keep the damage going. And just destroying a range. I mean, there were just two NPC allies who just went in after the Orion, and uh, of course that was not a good idea. But now he's fighting against my Cataphract, which is fine, because I will just keep the rain coming. But as you can see, against an Orion, this guy is actually fairly tanky, and we're hitting him all over the place, but not exactly where we need to hit him. So it's going to take quite a while to draw him down here. And uh, <laughs> I'm seeing that we're at 500 ammo now. I will actually have to make more use of my lasers. And I think, as far as the build goes, I would probably recommend to remove one or two double heat sinks and get more ammo. Because I can clear already tell you guys, this is not enough ammo. Also, I'm getting learned now. <laughs> I guess it's justice to, justice to the learner getting learned. That was nice. Okay, guys, uh, please get over here. So, we got double quick draws and a commando. I'm gonna try to kill the commando here with my small lasers. I'm gonna send my guys after the Orion, uh, not Orion, good boss. Ouchie. He really doesn't like my bunny ears. Nope, there are my guys. Another detour coming in. Uh, I forgot that I don't have my armor mounted weapons here. Twice again. Nope, out of range. Okay. I, still, I really have to brawl against the commander here. I mean, normally the commander would not get close to a catapult in the lore because, well, the catapult would just step on him and that would be it. No more commando. It's a 25 tonner against a what 65 70 tonner? It's just no contest there. We just take over here. His arms here. Maybe go for the VTOL here. Alright. They just took down one of the big guys. Very nice. Now we send them off to the other quick draw. Let's see. Commando arms are looking very weak, so let's take away the other arm as well. Okay. We need to gank the CT if I can, because that's where the SM6 is located. But uh, he seems to be cooking quite nicely. The good thing about the small lasers is they recycle quite quickly. So, on the quick draw left. I'm thinking to go for legs here as soon as I see him. I'm just preserving my ammo as much as I can. Yep, there we go, we go for legs. Okay, never mind. No going for legs. Not going for jump jets. Oh, AI pilot just lost a leg. Is he even shooting? No, he's just standing there. He's just, look at this. He's just standing there and walking. Now he finally shot. Took like forever. Alright, that's okay though. We just keep the fire going with the small lasers. We are, we are we're officially knife fighting now. Alright. Next dropship coming in. Next VTOLs coming in. Let's see. Okay, Marauder's doing well. Let's the guys over there. Well, I will try to deal with the Igor and his friend. I'm going to use one double shot for the Igor. Come on, give me luck. Hopefully it will take him down. Yep. Now we use the jump jets to get higher and... Oh, no, damn it. I didn't get him. Okay, turn around. Let's try this again. Ah, that was bad. The torso is quite slow to move here. Can I reach him? Nah, not really. Maybe now. Okay, it's, this mech is definitely not made to shoot down helicopters without the LRMs. That is for sure. Let's send the guys in the Vigilicator and I'm going to deal with the... Little little spider that's once again is annoying. Should have the legs here in any second now. That's the one leg. The right leg needs to be shot, which is this one. There we go. Fell them over. Let's go for the quick draw. Bring the missiles to bear. We just lost the Orion. 
Interesting. So as you can see, these indirect fire weapons, they don't seem to be doing as much damage as others. Other direct fire weapons, at least not for me. Let's go for the leg here. <laughs> we just did a somersault. Alright, it's time to go on the quick drop. Uh oh, my bunny ears are not looking so good. Gotta be careful about that. Come on, guys, shoot him. Look at this guy, he's just standing there and missing his shots, okay. That's what you call an elite pilot, I guess. And... nope, there was not a CT. Let's try this again. Still not enough. Finally, okay. Last wave. This is gonna be a hard one. This is gonna be a hard one. Cicada, Grasshopper, Quick Draw. And potentially some flyers. Which I don't see right now. Okay, there's one. Okay, alright. Let's go for Cicada first. Get some missiles in. Just try to maybe leg him. It's looking good for us. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, Cicada is legged. Now we can go on his left leg, which is here. If I can get close enough. Come on. Right, never mind. See our guys after the grasshopper. And start taking him down now. I'm going to use all my remaining misses on the grasshopper. Okay, out of range here. That's okay. Ooh, they're really focusing me hard. Keep the misses going. Keep jumping and try and be evasive. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, my CT started to get opened up. Come on, guys. Where's my damage? Uh oh Come on, guys, shoot! It's really hard to get shots from them. I think they really can't use the PPC very well. And the stream LRMs actually seem to be splitting a lot more than they should. Okay. So, ammo depleted. It's time to go knife fighting. Come on, ladies, engage! I think I'm playing Mech Warrior Online here. Let's take destroy. down the helicopter. Two targets remain. Let's see if we survive this. Keep going on CT. One more burn should do it. And now we go for the quick draw. So why are you guys not shooting properly? This guy has all his weapons. Let's see. Let's see what he does. AC5 is shooting. It just takes forever to shoot. It just takes forever to shoot. That's an elite pilot. And this here is AC-10 medium laser PPCs. Also takes forever to shoot. It feels like the enemy AI, honestly, to me, is shooting more than your own AI. And that's just weird. By the way, guys, another tip if you want to hit the legs properly, aim a little bit higher. Like so. That should allow you to get a better shot in. There we go, that's one leg. Now we go for the other. Yeah, it's not so good with just having one leg, right? We're also having an easier time because up here, this, play this player part here, doesn't move as much as down below where the foot is. That will move a lot more. So always aim for the hips. There we go. Kill is done. Um, yeah, uh, we're not staying around. What is... Dude? Hello? Alright. Yeah, sure. Just, just keep dancing. The machine spirit seems to be powerful today, well and the lance is dropping right next to us, but we are saying bye-bye, we're out of here. So long, NPCs. So, um, let's have a look at the scoreboard to see how much damage we did. It felt like we did a lot less than before, but here's the thing, guys. Look at this. 17 total kills, 5 air units, 4 vehicles, 8 mechs. We did a total of 1,426 damage, so we actually did more damage than with the Black Knight. But, since it's all just splash damage, you're paying for the damage that you're doing by just splattering all over the enemies and not killing them properly or not as easily. So, you're, make, you're doing a trade-off, basically. You have the ability to engage targets, even indirectly, but you can't kill them as easily, you cannot have that concentrated firepower, unfortunately. But 
I would say that's a nice catapult support mech. As I said, maybe remove one or two double heat sinks, add a turn or two more of uh, ammo, and see how that goes for you. If you have an idea of how to play this mech, how to build this mech, or how to build any other mech, put it down in the description below. If you found this video helpful, drop me a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to become a part of the TTB army over on Patreon, head on over there and see if that's something for you. Other than that, have a great day, guys. Take care and bye-bye.